Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Randy Wakeman here. This is the Impala Plus. This specific model has a 26 inch barrel, it's a 12 gauge. It is an inertia gun. Walnut, gray Cerakote. Actually, I was worried that the Cerakote was going to be a little too shiny, but as it turns out, it's pretty nice. The Impala Plus is made by Istanbul Salah in Turkey. Now, Istanbul Salah has been around for about 20 years, so they're not amateurs when it comes to firearms. In fact, uh, Istanbul Salah makes the Winchester SXP pump. So there are a lot of interesting things about this gun. First of all, the recoil pad is very, very nice, very generous. Reminds me of the original Browning Influx pad. That may have something to do with the Herstall Group Winchester relationship, I don't know. The barrel, which I mic with my Skeets bore gauge, is .741 inches. So it is an overboard barrel and it takes standard Invector Plus style chokes. Comes with five chokes. What's interesting is the full choke, which is effectively a 30 thousandths constriction, is rated for steel. So, um, it really is a proper Invector Plus choke. I've screwed in one of my favorites. This is a True Lock Precision Hunter Modified Invector Plus, Invector Plus, and screwed right in beautifully. Actually, easier to get in and out than, than the factory chokes. So, the triangular safety is a little bit more generous than most as is the bolt release. Maybe you can see it. There are a couple steel rails inside for the bolt to ride back and forth on. So you can see that it locks very very easy. Now I don't know if this is supposed to eliminate the Benelli click or improve on it but it's very, very nice. Now, rather than a normal barrel extension coming down, this bolt, rather than uh, two lugs, I believe it has uh, six lugs. So, um, how much of a real-world improvement it, that this is supposed to be or is, I really don't know. We're going to find out how this gun shoots. I haven't shot it yet. But... Uh, they have, this is not just a generic inertia gun. They have made quite a few changes from the standard Civilani action. So, um, also it's drilled and tapped. And, not much of a coincidence, it takes the Winchester SXP scope base, if that's the way you want to go. So, let's see how it does. I'll Get my ears in. We'll take a few shots to see if it works. It'll be the first shots right out of the box. So, so for starters, Remington American Clay and Field, number seven and a half, ounce and an eighth. Doesn't load the easiest, but it's not bad. It takes a little, uh, a little extra push. So. Will it function or not? We're going to find out. Very, very good ejection. That is six to seven foot ejection with ounce and an eighth loads. Let's see how it does with top guns. These are one ounce top guns. One ounce top guns. 1300 feet per second. Well, the Federals load a little easier, so that has something to do with the stamp cap uh, rim diameter, no doubt. Yeah, that loads very, very easy. All right, let's see if it does okay with one ounce, 1300 foot per second loads.
No problem whatsoever. Very, very good ejection. One of the consistent problems with certain inertia guns, particularly Benelli as of late, is they shoot ridiculously high. So I guess I'm going to have to make it standard practice to check point of aim. I've got some paper set up, fresh paper, at 25 yards. And I'll shoot off the bag here and see how it does with a modified choke. Just to give you a rough idea. The right way is 40 yards. I'm using 25 yards with shoot and see targets just for visual effect so you can get a better idea on, on video where it shoots. So, let's zoom in on the target and we'll crack off some, uh, some of the ounce and an eighth Remington loads at the paper and see how it does. Okay, that's 25 yards. Just eyeballing it, I'll call that pretty darn good. It's probably shooting, oh, maybe two inches high, which is not much. This is just eyeballing it, but the pattern's uh, well centered, obviously. But uh, yeah, the center of the pattern, I'll call it two inches high, maybe not even that. So that is far better than most. So this gun is ready to hunt. Slings are installed. Like them or not, better get used to it. The, uh, the swivels themselves are included in the box. As I mentioned, you get five chokes. Beautiful owner's manual in English with extremely clear color photographs. And I'll tell you what, what is going to blow your minds is the price. This particular model with the gray Cerakote it runs about $499. Unbelievable. I mean this has got to be the best deal on the market for a 12 gauge 3 inch auto loader. And there are other models just with regular bluing not the Cerakote um, I think they call it the narrow. Um, you can get the same configuration as low as $435. So that's just crazy good. And it's clean machining. Loading is no problem. The controls are good size. Like I said, better than average on the bolt release, better than average on the safety because I really hate these these little uh, pencil point safeties. And this is walnut. Not deluxe walnut, it's straight grain. But uh, the checkering is functional. You know, it's not particularly deep. But I'm telling you what, for, uh, for a sub $500 gun, you won't do better than this. It comes with adjustment shims, and it lacks a lot of things that so many uh, auto loaders do lack regardless of price because recoil pads, skimpy, chintzy, rock hard recoil pads or minimal recoil pads are a problem. Shooting the point of aim is a problem. Having wacky choke tubes, proprietary choke tubes is a problem. The Impala Plus doesn't have any of those. So uh, I'm impressed. And you can see ejection is terrific with ounce and an eighth 1200 foot per second loads and 1300 foot per second one ounce loads. Nor is recoil a factor, not with those two loads, not by any means. Let me see if I have anything lighter and slower. 
I'm not sure if I if I do or not. And I don't. But um, let me take a couple shots with some more uh, typical hunting loads. These are Federal Highbird ounce and a quarter fives, 1330 feet per second. So let's check the ejection and we'll check the recoil. Obviously ejection is no problem. Not bad. Because you're not going to be shooting a ton of these loads at pheasants. And you've got pretty good balance too, I think, for an alloy receiver gun. And the weight is right at six and three quarter pounds. So that's lighter than most. That's uh, oh, a quarter pound or so lighter than most uh, 12 gauge guns of this configuration. So it's a winner. I am telling you, this is going to get my vote for bargain of the year because uh, this is it's a terrific gun with all the bells and whistles. Now, if you had to buy five Invector Plus chokes or a couple extra Invector Plus chokes and send your gun out to be Cerakoted, now that would be more than half the price of the gun. I mean, you, between the chokes and the Cerakote, you're getting the gun for a couple hundred dollars. It's imported uh, by a division, DKG Trading, I believe, which is the import division of Xander's. And my understanding is the exclusive distributor is Xander's, Sparta, Illinois. But they're readily available. Like I said, they start... Um, $430, $435, you can get them with synthetic stocks as well. I mean, it's really, I'm impressed. It's just unbelievable. I have not tested a gun this good, this inexpensive, in years and years and years. So, um, this me beautifully. They call it a high rib. It's, uh... Looks, the sighting plane is like a minor step rib. rib. A minor step rib, uh, if you've ever shot a Browning BPS, uh, you have the same sighting plane. But it fits me beautifully. Like I said, there's just, uh, there's nothing wrong with this gun. Now, as far as the trigger, I'm picky. I don't like excessively, hunting, uh, excessively heavy hunting triggers because a lot of guns come in six, seven, eight pound guns. So, um, the crude test with an unloaded gun is, this is a six and three quarter, quarter pound gun, will it click? Sure will. So, that's a very crude test. Uh, on my trigger gauge, five and a quarter, five and a half pounds. But obviously, the brake weight is less than the weight of the gun, which is superior to a lot of guns out there. So, I'm certainly not afraid. Uh, to send a trigger group up to Dave at Precision Sports to get it down to four and a quarter, about where I like it for a hunting gun, and he makes them a lot crisp, crisper as well. But this thing, not a problem. So it's ready to hunt just as is, and I couldn't be more impressed. So it is very, very rare to get a gun like this, and uh, I'm telling you what, uh, between this uh, and let's say uh, a Benelli 12 gauge Montefeltro or an Affinity, this wins pretty easy on, on many, many levels. But it's a fraction of the price. So what's the catch? The only catch is that you can get this in any gauge you want, as long as it's 12 gauge, and every chamber length that you want, as long as it's 3 inch. So there's some economy of scale there. Uh, there's all kinds of color configurations, stock configurations, finish configurations. I think there's uh, something like 40 different variations. And when you add in all the different barrel lengths, there's a huge selection to choose from. Some are pretty 
uh, wild looking, like the urban camo, which is, uh, you know, it looks like a 1960s uh, Andy Warhol acid trip. I mean, pretty wild. But uh, you're going to love this gun. And I'm telling you, for the money, there is nothing on the market right now that's even close. I'll hunt with this gun. There's no question. So, Merry Christmas. Thanks for stopping by.